You appeared on season 14 of Shark Tank. Six years ago, the trajectory of my whole life changed. I realized I was transgender. Is that for you where when your transition started? Yes, it was actually. Um, it's really crazy because I didn't really know about transgender people. I grew up in a very diverse area, so I was very ignorant to trans people in general. Um, but when I did realize I was trans through actually YouTube videos of other trans men, I, I connected with them very shortly after that, that I actually started my medical transition. What up though? Jay the Gentleman here. Uh, I had a conversation with Brax Fleming of Stealth Bros and Co. Uh, the conversation was inspired by a talk that I had with a good friend of mine. He would, he is a gender queer person. And he talked about how he never felt as if what he saw in the mirror matched how he, he talked about what they saw even as I'm di discussing it, I don't, the, the pronouns are mixing me up, which is kind of the reason why I wanted to have this conversation with Brax. I wanted to understand some of the basics about being trans, being gender nonconforming, and how that translates to the bigger black gay culture, black LGBTQ culture, really. If you're interested in black gay content, consider subscribing to Dear Black Gay Men on YouTube and hit the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Check this out. That, was, that is just so foreign to me. Like, what was it? What did you realize? It was, I like, it's really crazy. Okay, so like six years ago, I started my medical transition. So as far as starting the actual hormone therapy, four to five years prior to that, um, I felt like something was missing from my life. Ultimately, um, you know, I was very established, but I still felt very like lost. Like I felt like something was missing and I didn't even know what it was. And the more I researched, the more I started listening to the stories, the more I felt like the puzzle piece in my life was coming to me and it was connecting. And it started to make me realize like why I acted a certain way within my relationship, why I wanted certain things within my relationship, why I didn't want to be touched a specific way. It was so many different things within my life that started to connect the dots. And then that's when I was like, I really think that I'm trans. And then that's when I went to therapy and you know, the rest is history after that. And I started hormones shortly after I had therapy. The interesting thing about everything you just said is like why I like certain things, why I didn't like certain things, why I wanted to be touched certain ways. Like I had a conversation a couple weeks ago with someone who's a top and he's very specific on how he wants to be touched and whatnot. But that doesn't equate to trans in his experience or right. or a change in his gender expression. What right. about this discovery made it rise to um, changing your gender expression? Okay, so I grew up very androgynous my entire life. Um, I've just okay. always, like, guy friends, girlfriends, I've always just been that, like, sway in the middle. It wasn't until I got to college mm -hmm. where my college friends were telling me that you're gay, you're gay. I'm like, I'm not gay. Like, what are you talking about? And then I realized that maybe I am a lesbian. Well, for the longest time, I did not identify with this lesbian word. And I feel like because I didn't have the language for feeling or identifying with my gender in a certain way, because I felt like it wasn't a possibility for me. So it, it wasn't, I wasn't able to express that like in a language at that time. Um, but as time went by, and then I was, you know, explaining to you how I felt that void in my life, I started to really think about my future and like, how did I see myself? And like, I felt like I wasn't growing, like even physically, like I just felt like, I always tell people, I felt like I was a fetus for like my entire life, all the way up to 27 years old. I felt like I wasn't even developing as a woman or anything. I just felt like a being, it was, it was very weird. Um, but either way, what really tipped me was I wanted to be a father. I wanted to be a father. I did not want to be a butch mother. I, I was already in this like stud role, this lesbian role. And in my future, I just could not be the other mom. Like 
something about that triggered me personally. And I knew then that like, if I wanted to really move forward in my life, like this is what I have to do because this is just my missing piece. It was, it was just like, it was a lot of things that just fell into place. It's, it's really intense actually. That, that actually is really dope. What, what resonated with me, like my antenna stuck up when you said, um, you weren't developing as a, a human being, like the idea that, that your transition allowed you to be human. That was, that was big for me, but also the fact that you wanted to be a father, like I want to be a father. I don't, I, I never saw myself as a mother. So clearly I want to be a dad. And the right. idea that you have that same, that same desire the way I do. Right. That's when I'm like, oh, that makes sense. That right. makes sense. The only yeah. difference is you spent 20 some years as a different gender feeling right. the way that I feel. Right. In that instance, at least. Yes. No. That's yes. 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 That that's makes exactly, so much sense. That's exactly how it is. But the the craziest part is, is that the whole twenty seven years, you know, I think I'm very thankful for like my upbringing, my family, because I wasn't pushed, I wasn't judged, you know, how I dressed or what I was doing. But ultimately, like I felt mm -hmm. like incomplete. If you like that, click the screen to watch the full conversation with Brax Fleming of Stealth Bros & Co. We're new, every, we're new on YouTube every Thursday night at 9 p.m. I'm Jay the Gentleman. Until next time, bye.